What's up everyone, Gio over here in today's vlog day. Now this vlog is gonna be in-house within our department as I update you guys on what's been going on. Over the past couple months, we've had a lot happening. So let's start off with Do The Right Thing. Some of you might not know that we actually have a Do The Right Thing program in our department. Now, during the pandemic, they had to shut down because obviously the, the schools were closed. They're up and running right now. So let's check them out, see what's going on. Hey, Ari. what's up? Good, good. How are you? I'm awesome. Super excited to share with you that our program has restarted. All right. So tell us, man, what is Do the Right Thing? What's this program about? So Do the Right Thing is a program that recognizes and rewards children all across Miami-Dade County in conjunction with the Miami Police Department. We've actually been around for 30 years, believe it or not making sure to build that positive connection between the police department and students. So Do the Right Thing is a great program. It's nationwide, right? Absolutely. We have around 68 national chapters and four international chapters. So we're really proud of that. Now, what are some of the incentives for a kid that actually does the right thing and how are they nominated? So um, our program works with the schools. The schools basically sign up for our program. Our program is completely free. The teachers at the school can nominate up to 15 students that do the right thing each month of the school year. And those nominations consist of anything as, as picking up a dollar or turning in a gun and saving a life. So each and every single student that is nominated wins several prizes. They get one of our famous Keep Calm and Do the Right Thing t-shirts that you see here, as well as free Papa John's pizza and two tickets to a Miami Marlins game and they of course also get a certificate of congratulations and a letter from the chief of police congratulating them for doing the right thing so that's every single student out of those students that we receive around 800 nominations every single month we do pick 10 of the best nominations for that month and those students get a higher category of prizes including a ceremony here at the miami police department as well as a plaque and a tablet and tickets to different area attractions across miami and out of those 10 we do pick two top winners one in the elementary category and the other in the middle high school category the elementary top winner wins a trip to Rapids Water Park with their family. Middle high school category winner wins a trip to Washington DC with Do The Right Thing. So Do The Right Thing program really does offer a lot of stuff. Great incentives, but I know that you guys have one big scholarship that you guys award as well, right? Absolutely. So we do offer annually to one lucky high school senior, we offer them a $6,000 scholarship to the Miami Police Academy. So all of my high school seniors that would like to become a police officer in the future, make sure you visit our website, www.dotherightthinginc.org for more information on how to apply for the Angel Calcidia Scholarship. So dealing with the COVID pandemic, we've had to change some things up and go virtually. Usually every year in October, we have National Night Out, which is a great event. It helps bridge the gap between the police and the community. But this year, we weren't able to do that. So the community relations section actually hooked up a virtual event that they did. It was broadcasted on a social media platform. So if you didn't check it out, you can go ahead and check it out at the link below. So National Night Out was hosted in this room. This is a room that the community relations section actually set up for their PAL program, where they're able to interact with the kids and do all kinds of different virtual experiences like trivia and you know exercises together, you know, which is a wonderful thing that the PAL program has to offer. So being that we're in this nice, comfortable room, I'm gonna have a seat. We're gonna talk a little bit about October and some of the cool events that were going on and in September as well. Now I got my man Porter over here. What's up everyone? What's going on? So as you guys know, Horta came to the unit about a year ago. He handles a lot of the demands in the department for the smaller videos that go on Instagram and Facebook as well. What's up everyone? So like Gio said, I've been in the unit for a little over a year now. Time goes by really fast. Um, in my year here, I've been handling more of the smaller projects such as uh, some homicide cold case videos, doing a lot of the PSAs, public service announcements as far as ride sharing safety, as far as uh, buying and selling items online safety. Just finished a pedestrian uh, jaywalking crosswalk video. What's up everyone, Jill over here. Right now we're on Flagler Street and Northwest 7th Avenue. Busy intersection, vehicular and pedestrian traffic. We want to make sure that everybody's able to commute safely. So please, if you're a pedestrian, make sure to use the crosswalk and use the pedestrian control devices. We have it on Southwest A Street and we have it on Biscayne Boulevard as well. It's gonna help you get through the traffic easier and safely. So please, be mindful of it, use it, and get to where you're going safely. Have a great day. 
If you're in the city of Miami, be mindful of these new crosswalks. They're yellow and they'll be flashing with yellow lights whenever someone's attempting to cross the street. So also here, I'm tasked with doing a lot of in-house videos. If it's an update on policy, we'll send out a message to all of the officers. An example recently is we were given the green light to have full beards. That there has been an update to our shave policy. Uh, that's right, you can now have full beards. Whoa, uh, no shave policy? Hold on a second. So let me get this right. We can have a full beard now? We can have a full beard. A full beard. Full beard, but hold, hey, hold on, hold hey on. Hey guys, no shave policy, man. <laughs> Let it grow out. So one thing our department does to help show support for awareness, like autism and cancer awareness, we do vehicle wraps, and these come out really, really, really nice. He covered both of them for September and October. What was the theme for September? Well, September we had the Autism Awareness Car Wrap. That car came out beautiful. It was amazing. Everybody loved it. We got some really good feedback from the community. We've taken it to a bunch of schools where the kids loved it. Also, the Breast Cancer Awareness Vehicle. That was amazing as well. Romero Brito actually designed the car, came to the station, signed it. We had a great time. I did that video as well. So those are two projects I really enjoyed doing. And as many of you probably know by now, our department is very, very big on being rooted in the community and connecting with a lot of kids. And recently, Halloween weekend just passed, I went to the Trunk or Treat event, and it was a great event. A lot of kids, a lot of smiles on their faces, you know, a lot of scares actually. There was a haunted house. We had a lot of police cars where the trunks were decorated with a bunch of Halloween decorations, and it was an awesome, good time. Now a major update, if you're not aware, our chief is retiring at the end of the year. It's gonna be sad to see him go. But congratulations to him for an extensive, great career in law enforcement. Now it's you know, time for him to move on onto his next chapter in life. So many of you are still asking, what's up with Nick? Where is he? Well, I've mentioned before in previous vlogs that he's no longer with us in the social media unit. He hasn't retired, he just moved on to training. Now, if you check out his YouTube account, he did a video where he explained the transition from the social media unit onto training and why he decided to leave. So go check that out so that you can go ahead and know what's going on with him and you can be able to connect with him if you choose to. So before I wrap up the vlog, I gotta thank Nick from Myrtle Beach Police Department in South Carolina. He came down here on vacation, stopped by the PAO office and dropped off this really, really cool patch. Big thanks for that and please be safe out there, brother. So now on to a more pressing matter. As you guys know, we're in the middle of an election and it's getting pretty heated back and forth between the Republicans and the Democrats. But I just want to just re remind everyone that it doesn't matter what side you choose to vote for. You vote for the candidate that you wanted and we need to always maintain that respect because we have the freedom to vote in this democracy and that's a beautiful thing. Ultimately, we're all American. That's right, Gio. We're, we're all American at the end of the day, so you know, I, what we should really do is just continue to work hard to build our relationship regardless of law enforcement, regardless of civilian. We're all people, so let's just continue to try to make ourselves better people going forward and enjoy this beautiful country that we live in. Absolutely. Work together, bridge the gaps, and let's move forward regardless of who wins this election. So with that being said, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.